Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am making um, potato and flour dumplings with plums, which are called knadla. So the ingredients for this are one kilogram of baking potatoes, and these have been cooked and pressed through the potato press. Um, two eggs, 400 grams of plums. They are pretty big, so I may have to cut them into little pieces or halves or however you want, quarters. Then we're gonna need 250 grams of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of potato flour, salt, of course, salt, and butter. This is three tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of sugar for the top after they're cooked. So, so let me begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is transfer these into a bigger bowl so that it's easier to work with. And I am going to mix in my potato flour. mixing in my all-purpose flour. And now let's add the eggs. I just added one right now because this is still pretty hot. And I'm gonna have to start using my hand here very soon. Second egg. And now I'm going to add the remaining flour and start mixing, kneading with my hand. salt <laughs> now what we want to do is make sure that we flour our board And uh, let's divide this dough into half. Set this one aside. All we want to do is just form it into a roll and then we're gonna cut it and place the plums in. Of course, if you're using whole ones, make sure you 
take the pit out. And I apologize for my voice, but I have a upper respiratory infection and kind of lost my voice for a while. Okay, so time to cut these. Okay, do something like this. So let's remove the pit and there it goes you can still put a little sugar in there or cinnamon if you'd like and let's form this into a little patty and Sure you put these aside. Make sure you have a pot of water, salt it, bring it to boil. Things are done and just waiting to be um, cooked. My water is not boiling yet. So in the meantime, I'm melting my butter and I'm gonna add the sugar to it. So we'll have to spread on the top. So now the water for the dumpling has boiled. Let's place these in. These are my bigger ones here. So when they surface to the top, we'll just make them boil for about three minutes or so. So now they've been cooking for about three minutes. So I'm gonna take them out. When they're done like this already, just 
just make sure that you do drizzle them with a little bit of the water and the sugar. Set them aside to cool. So if you like this recipe, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and enjoy.